Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of this Let's Play Through the Campaign. Okay, we've got 15 solarite remaining. Let's take it all off. We're going to buy this. Oh, you can reset. That's good. How do I make sure actually buy it though? So if we go back. Oh, can you only choose? Ah, one for each of these. One for each of them, one for... Okay, we're going to leave it at that then. Actually, energy cost, cooldown 60, energy cost. That's actually better. It's like an upgraded version of that, where you get soldiers with the advanced pylo. We'll go for start and supply. There we go. Then these are new areas, and you can only have one in each area. Okay, I understand that now. Okay, let's go back. Look here, Hierarch. This material self-regenerates. It is no wonder the research of the Terrans claimed it to be from a recent epoch. My projections place it at several billion years old, if not more. Zeratul's vision said that this keystone can guide us unto hope. What do you think it means? Yes, guide us. It is a code wanting to be cracked. The keystone seems to be able to manipulate energies, but that may not be its sole purpose. I believe it stores its origin point within. Its origin point? Yes, I promise you. I will find out how this will lead us to the Zelnaga. Redouble your efforts, Karax. There is little time. War Council. No new conversation there. Let's take a look at this. Robotic assault units can now be added to our army hierarch. Let's take a look at it. I return to serve. Right, that's the immortals I was using before. But with an improved barrier. That's the Ayer version of it. What's the Annihilator? The Shadow Cannon? The Nerezim version of it. Ooh, I quite like that. They've already... That shield bonus only helps them once their shields are down. I quite like the bonus damage and the ability to hit air. So we're going to go with this one. The Annihilator. And I won't need Dragoons to support them. Or something else anti-air. I can just go pure Immortals. Uh, hey there, your royal Ness. Man, this is weird. I've never talked to no Protoss before. <laughs> hey. If I have learned one thing from your commander, Raynor, it is that we are not so different, Rory Swan. Continue your report. Right. So, the artifact, uh, the, uh, the keystone thingy's all yours. We're in the middle of transmitting all our data to your engineer. You have my thanks. Please relay my appreciation to Commander Raynor. Hey, you got it, Skippy. Skippy? <laughs> now we've got... Securus to go to or Glacius? Glacius? Zeratul, old friend. I have the keystone you believed would lead to our salvation. And yet, faith alone will not defeat Amon. As Hierarch, I was made aware of a location where our Kalai scientists experimented on new weaponry in secret. Within the Glacius facility, 
The Purifier program has been reborn. We must recover this immensely powerful technology. Right, that's Glacius. I think we'll go to Shakuras first, though. The Nerezim of Shakuras ritually sever their connection to the Kala. Because of this, they are now the last free Protoss. I must reach them before Amon's armies. Let's travel. Life is extensive. Hold, we are receiving a transmission. Praise the gods, Artemis, you live. Matriarch Vorazun, what has happened here? Shakuras has fallen. The warp gate linking this world to Ire has been reopened. Countless hybrid and Zerg pour from the other side. They've obliterated our cities, decimated our Shadow Guard. We are trying to evacuate the remaining population, but I am uncertain whether we can hold long enough to get them safely away. We will give you the time you need, Matriarch. My Templar are inbound. Okay, let's do our conversations. We got a new work answer one? Yep. All this time. This wretched little world was within striking distance of our fleets. Much has changed since your era, Preserver. First you consort with those Terrans, and now the Fallen Ones? It is heresy. You must know this. The Dark Templar are now our allies. There was a time when the Protoss were broken. Throughout the Aeon of Strife, we tore at each other with wanton abandon. Only one path was ever found to end the madness and unify our people. The Kala. The Dark Ones rejected its light. They denied their own race. How can you fight for them? For one so sworn to preserve our history, Rohana, how can you be so blind to its turn? I... I see I have offended you, Hierarch. My apologies. Adapting to this period is... Difficult. Okay. No conversation here. I've been trying to isolate the major population centers in need of evacuation. The Zerg signatures far outnumber those of the Protoss. But most of the survivors seem to have gathered within Talametros. There must be Nerezine Fainsmiths you know among them. Those who stayed behind. I am not seeing any Protoss life signs from within the engineering base, Hierarch. Then they have met their fate. Or perhaps they've fought their way to safety. The Dark Templar do not follow our caste system. Some of their faith smiths are trained warriors, skilled as any of ours. That does give them an advantage I had not realized. But then, our people are very different. Of course, Hierarch. Right. Bridge. My Dark Templar were tracking your invasion on Ayr when we were cut off. Then the warp gate opened. What happened, Artanis? Amon used the Kala to seize control of the Templar. I could feel his rage tearing through me, and I was powerless against it. Zeratul found me. It was there that he... He... Yes? He tried to free me. And he succeeded at the cost of his own life. He fell by my hand. It was Amon's deed, not yours. Zeratul came to me with a warning, but I did not act. Because of this, he is now gone, and the stars burn dimmer for his loss. Amon's deed or not, I carry a burden, Matriarch. One that cannot be easily lifted. Okay, that's all the communications. Let's get on with the level. We get 10 Solarite and 15 for the bonus objectives. Ground Zerg, so Dark Templars are going to be OP, especially if they've got nothing to 
see invisible units. Well, that is if they are invisible. Spectres weren't invisible, so... Can't tell if that's an Ultralisk or a... Hybrid. A hybrid Ultralisk? I suppose that's what the black ones are, aren't they? And the whitey ones are... Hybrid... Templar? But then the new ones that actually use Storm are more like Hybrid Templar. Oh wait, I'll call it Hybrid Zerg, Hybrid Protoss, Hybrid Templar. There we go. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Your progress is automatically saved at key points. If you have any trouble, you can load a save game and try a different strategy. I normally save between each part too. Yep, yep. Shakura's teams with Amon Zerg broods. We hold only the southwest quadrant of Ptolemetrus, and even that is in peril. We must evacuate our people, but the launch bays have been defiled with infestation. Only ground forces can clear them. Once the bays are free, the planetary warp conduit will allow our ships to escape safely. The launch bays will be cleared. Your people will survive, Matriarch. This I swear. So that's her units there. Okay. These are my units. The darkness right. You will need the aid of my Dark Templar in this battle. They can strike from the shadows without fear of reprisal. Building lots of Dark Templars this level. So that's not going to be as effective as the other one because I'm not wanting the units. I get two Centurions and two Dragoons with it. Unless I use it for defense. Well, that's what that thing was. By the gods, it's sieging the warp conduit. Warriors, we must slay it before it destroys the conduit. Strike as one Templar. You require more Vespine gas. Right, we're gonna just have to attack with this. They've got none to see me though, so. Oh wait, uh, maybe it can. seconds to come down here and just go eh, 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 eh. then quickly back up. Eh, up, 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 up up that was close the thrasher is slain but it will be for naught if the launch bays remain infested the narrow Z. I will leave them there quite happily Weapons, put a third one there. Keep building the probies. Oh, that's where it is. I know still all the Dark Templars have safes. Tum indeed. Clever. By the void. These vaults are 
vaults hold the solarite reserves that power Ptolemetros. You may claim them with our blessing, Hierarch. Kalshin Nasperu. Two Templars. From the shadows I come. I am intrigued. Still upgrading. So now nah, we'll leave on this. We need more. Upgrade. That next. Nothing can see me. Let's do an orbital strike. One, two, yeah, yeah, or yeah, where? Five. There we go. Wow, that did less damage than I thought. The darkness. What would you ask? That orbital strike's quite weak. Fine. Shore up our defenses. The Zerg are moving to attack our nexus point. You require more Vespin gas. You require <laughs> more Vespin gas. Oh, is that it? From the shadows I come. You have not enough minerals. You have not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Upgrade complete. Then we'll build one of these. Just waiting for someone to make that pun. I am the blade of the night. Okay, we're gonna to need to get there the ASAP. A second thrasher. The conduit is under assault. Service. Got to go around this way. Clever. Oh, observer. The spore crawlers and overseers ahead can detect our Dark Templar's movements. Slay them first. Okay, we're gonna actually need to start using proper troops now. We don't really need zealots. Let's uh oh. Let's build a couple of this. There's no thingies. Oh, there's spore crawlers. Ah, kill it quickly, kill it quickly. Right, kill this first.
Khartoum. Matriarch Vorazun, the first launch bay has been cleared. Continue evacuating. Nice and safe here, it seems. So we'll keep doing that as we build up our army here. Clever. Where are those other solar furnace things? I suppose I could build an advanced base there, but I don't feel I need it. I am the blade of the Narazine. Actually, we'll take everyone now. By the void, I am but a phantom. Got to one. Oh, dearie me. Back there. Morals. Where are the morals? Where are those morals? Whoa, they're up here already? That was fast. Give me my solarite. Our triumph is at hand. Plus five. Very well. You have not enough minerals. I have returned. Hey, move. Right. Whoa! Attack it, attack it. Kill it, kill it quickly. Ooh. Lovely. Get up here. Well done. Half of the bays are launching evacuation ships. Why are you not doing that? Let's continue on. How do we get around to that one? We have to go down this way, I assume. So be it. Right, let's go. Double advanced pylon. This one just there, but oh well. We use it to build DTs. I could do it with just DTs, but it takes so much longer.
What's that? We'll get that. Both of you will get another... Ah, oh, they're only 100 Vespin gas each, it's not bad. I knew they were expensive, but that's quite cheap. Right up here. He moved to victory. We need to find that last solar furnace though. Solar furnace. We are recovering the last solarite reserve now. The solar core should be ah, lovely. by the time our forces return, Hierarch. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. More immortals. DPS on them is beautiful. I really think I'm gonna like the Dragoon Immortal combo. Because I don't think you could have a full army of Immortals, or what are these? Annihilators. For the simple fact is you can't warp them in, but the Dragoons do a good. They can do the numbers. Last one to go. The Dark Templars leading the way because they're invisible. Oh, oh, oh. We need to get back here. Out of its way. Oh, F2, attack it. Kill it before it. There we go. Kill. Another flash of failed. Is there no end to these abominations? Oh. No, that's not what I meant to press. I meant to press. Oh, really? My army's in the road. Oh, there's a roach there. <laughs> yes, it is. But yeah, the Dragoons and the Annihilators. Gonna be a good combo quite to the late game, I feel. They won't be good against tons and tons of enemies, like mass zerglings, now that I think about it. But as soon as I'll get Colossus, I can mix in a few of them. Problem solved. I'd be more worried about marines, mass marines and zealots, so because um, not mass zealots, mass 
Zerglings. There we go. Lovely bubbly. We'll do our normal any movies and stuff, then call it apart. That's gonna have to be apart for me too. I'm gonna have to get ready for work. <laughs> I wanna play more. And by the time this part probably goes up, it'll be about a week's time for me anyway. Still. Despite this tragedy, I am pleased to see you once more, Hierarch. I had hoped that our next interaction would be your announcement of Ayer's reclamation. As did I. Instead, the Templar have fallen. Then the threat is greater than I realized. We cannot let the same fate befall Shakuras. It is too late for that. Amon Zerg poured through the warp gate as a tide of flesh and blade. They have already overrun Telemetros and are nearing the shrines of Lazul. This world is lost. With such an infestation, Shakuras must be destroyed. Destroy Shakuras? I will not permit this. Permit? Shakuras was my people's home long before we offered your sanctuary upon it. I will not let this world be a den for Amon's forces. Worlds may fall to ash. What matters is that we endure. To lose Shakuras and Ayr. We are a vagabond people, Artanis. Our true home has always been Ayr. Let us reclaim it together. It is fitting that the daughter of Raja Gaul decides the fate of the world she helped forge. Let us make preparations at once. Hierarch, I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the Solar Core now. Okay, we'll do that next time. We've got a new subsystem. I wonder what lovely jubbly upgrades we've got from the ship support. Maybe some special warping, maybe... I don't know. We'll find out next time. So I hope everyone has enjoyed this. I shall see you all next time. I've got to go to work. Bye, bye, folks.